Um, I'm not over the fan yet. Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and this is my channel. Welcome back beauties. Today I want to tell you that you are enough and I think you're beautiful. So I've just finished up a wear test on this look. I have just fixed up the eyeshadow a little bit. I mean, could be better. And I have reapplied Lippy. I'm obsessed with these minis. This is Cinnamon Bear. I don't know how much I'd wear this outside, but I'll wear it on camera. It makes me look so pale, but I kind of like it. Anyway, today I'm going to film the unpopular makeup opinions tag. Now this originates from a collab that two YouTubers did. They are Ola Quinn and Nobody's Beauty Gurus. I'll link them below. And I got this information from Angelica Nyquist channel because she's really good at finding all this stuff. I feel like Jellica's video is one of the first I've watched. I've definitely watched quite a few of these videos and I'm very late to the game. I have no excuses. I have no reasons. Um, I decided it'd be fun to film today. I'm also like a little bit sloshed, not very much, but it was the Melbourne Cup today. This is part of my Melbourne Cup look, but I've, I've dressed down. Uh, let me know if you recognize <laughs> who I'm repping right now. And I did live in uh, Townsville, North Queensland for a couple of years, which is why I'm a Cowboys girl. Anyway, moving into the tag, let's get this flowing. So the questions are, oh shit. Why didn't I think about my answers before? All right, and first up, we've got popular makeup product you don't like. So I've got two products here that I've just looked up. And one of them I've never tried, but it's the Fasali Unicorn Essence Primer. I have zero interest in this product because it comes in a dripper and I just hate drippers. Absolutely, just hate them. No interest. A product I've actually tried and don't like, but I do like the product, it's just the packaging. I hate the way that Benefit packaged their blushes and bronzers and that stupid cardboard square thing. That is not cool. I. I'm not a fan. The product's nice. The wear is not that good. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not into their packaging and it, it takes away from the product for me. Uh, so number two, popular makeup product brand that everyone else seems to hate, but you love. Hmm. And then I love, you know, what? I love Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mac is one of the places that I love just getting products from. Um, I've bought a lot of stuff from the US because it's just a million times cheaper, but the company I've been using are adding GST, so it makes the price of the product about the same as if I bought it here. But their products, everything I've ever bought from there is bomb. I love it. I love it. I love their blushes. I love their bronzers. I love their lip pencils. I love their lippies. I just, I love Mac. And I think there is definitely a lot of love for Mac, but it's just decreased a lot. I feel like there's not really any brands that I'm like, oh, I love this heaps. Like a lot of people hate Tarte because of the shade range controversy. And I'm like, okay about Tarte. Well, you know, I don't love them, but they're nice eyeshadows. And number three, makeup collab you didn't like or were not interested in. Um, this is controversial way I say this, but I'm just going to say straight up. Oh, I'm not interested in any of Bretman's collabs at all. I don't get him as a person. I don't understand that vibe. And if you just saw the latest collab that's just come out from Colourpop, it looks like he's ripped off Lemonhead, maybe. And I feel like I got this tea from Georgia Harris's Instagram. But they're releasing some glitter products. Anyway, it's a thing. I would love to try Lemonhead. They're just super expensive, especially to ship to me in Australia. And yeah, I think look it up, maybe somewhere else. But just, yeah, just, I'm not interested in these collabs. He had that Morphe highlighter collab. And I've tried watching his content. I cannot, I just can't get into it. I don't know why. Popular makeup step that you never do. Um, I try, I really try and do them all. But I, I, I think I more likely forget to do a step. Um, 
I absolutely wish I could do false lashes, but every time I go to do them, I ruin my eyeshadow a little bit. And I just, I'm not very good at winged liner, so I don't really do that, but I'm working on it. It's a process. Step that I don't, I'm sure there's probably something that I forget. But yeah, usually if I've not done something, it's because I forgot it rather than I don't do it out of like, ooh, I'm not about that life. Um, popular beauty influencer you don't subscribe to slash watch. Um, this one's kind of easy these days because there's so much drama, but I mean, my main one would be Laura Lee, really. I was watching her a long time ago. I used to really like her content. Like I remember when she did the make your make it at home pore strips with her husband and I thought that was really cute. I feel like it was one of the first videos I watched of hers. And then all the stuff happened and I've just not, I've never gotten back into it. I unscribed ages ago and yeah. But she's not really popular anymore. So who would be super popular? Oh, Alyssa Ashley. I don't get why people love her. She seems like really great and yeah, I just, I just can't, I'm just not that interested in those, in her videos at all, which is bizarre. Um, cause she does do some cool content and it definitely, it might be up your alley. Go check her out. The same with Bretman. Maybe he's completely your cup of tea. I love that. And that's the great thing about YouTube. We've all got different preferences. Um, popular makeup product brand that you don't use or support anymore. Um, I think for me, like my biggest one that I'm taking a big step back from is going to be Jeffree Star. I do have the beauty killer. I haven't really used it much since I originally bought it. And it's because I have a lot of guilt from the community of and just like from reading stuff, like not from my lovely subscribers. You guys don't guilt me about anything, but I just, I feel immense guilt. It's not that I particularly care, like, because I just, oh, it's not my fight. And I feel like everything's been addressed and it's up to you to make your opinion, yay, nay. Like, it's the same as like, you know, if you believe in God, like you either accept him or you don't. That's it. Um, I feel like once someone's apologized, that's all they can do. And for me, I'm more just about the content and the brand. I'm not really into the huge palettes that he's coming out with. Blood sugar, I mean, the shadows look nice, but like that fucking huge mother... No, that's not coming in my collection. The alien palette also looks nice, but like another fucking huge alien head. I'm really looking forward to seeing reviews. I really want to know if the eyes are squidgy on the palette. Like, are they squidgy? That's all I want to know. And Annette, when you review that palette, please let me know if the eyes are squidgy you know, <laughs> on the outer packaging. I'm just, I'm curious, like, are they raised or are they just flat and boring? But yeah, so for me, it's Jeffree Star, I guess, but I feel like, um, I feel like Fancy Face did a really great video on this the other week about fake wokeness and yeah, I, I'll link her video down below because to me, it's her place to talk about these things. It's not my place, but I'm just, I'm, you know, to me, I just, I love the makeup and if the makeup's great. I'm going to buy it. Also, if the packaging's nice. And makeup trend that you have no interest in trying. Getting really good. Um, for me, I'm going to say makeup trend wise, and I was playing with this a little bit at the start, but over editing my pictures. I just don't want to be a part of that life anymore. I don't want people to ever look at my Instagram and feel bad about their skin or feel bad about anything, you know, like, I mean, I'm 29, but I've still got like some crinkles on my face and I'm just going to let them be. I feel like the makeup community really accepts increasing contrast on pictures and I'm really going to try and stop that a little bit, but there's definitely no more skin smoothing, blemish editing stuff going to be going on on my face. Well, no, maybe I'll just get like the occasional pimple out. Just let me have that. But let me know what you think about picture editing. I feel like it's a huge part of the makeup community and I feel like so many people's eyeshadow looks 
you just can't look like that in real life because it's you like hugely photoshopped yeah um for me one of the videos that kind of really ruined how much like shopping and contrasting pictures was actually one of Nikki Tutorial's Halloween looks and the half mask video. I'll link it down below. But as she was doing it and as she got to the end, like it just looked stupid. It looks great in pictures, don't get me wrong, but on film and in real life, not a, not a good look. And it just made me go like, I'm so over that this is a thing in this community. Like I want people to feel good and I want to spread good vibes and I want you to feel happier so I guess that's a makeup trend it's isn't yeah I mean I'm not I'm not super into like the wavy brows or whatever but I mean I don't know if the mood strikes me I don't want to say I'm never gonna do them and the final question makeup product that was better in theory than when you used it either swatched better or worked better on others than you um, my glitter draw. I love buying glitter. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about buying glitter. And I have one particular product. And this is no shade to the brand because I love the brand. But this is the Sydney Grace Lava Beds in the color in glitter. Oh, glitter in lava beds and what this is is like a pressed glitter it looked amazing on Instagram and it was limited edition look at that pickup and then it's very glittery I've just been swatching other stuff so just ignore that I mean it's not a bad thing but I feel like especially when it comes to these kind of glitters I just glitter is great in theory it looks amazing in pictures it looks amazing in real life it looks amazing all the time but when it comes to putting on my eyes sometimes things go wrong and I think I will already have had that video up by the time I post this video of where it went a little bit awry and yeah I think loose glitters just I'm not really meant to play with them I'd love to incorporate them in my looks, but I don't think I can do them that safely. And realistically, when it comes to putting glitter on, there's only a few, like you can put it in the highlighter spot, fill in your brow, a little bit in the inner corner. Probably your safest places to put it, or cover your face with it. I'm just not, I'm not sure um, I'll ever be able to make it work for me. <clears throat> I wonder if there's anything. Oh, uh, and then like, I mean, I can just, I'm happy to just, oh, I'm not even going to bother. But this is, this is the Dark Magic palette. But I feel like lots of people have mixed thoughts about these and these palettes still get mentioned occasionally for some stupid ass reason. But I bought the Bling Boss. Oh, I hate that palette. It's a terrible palette. Um, this palette has its moments. It's not the best either. I mean, it's cheap. It's Morphe. I think to me, Morphe as a brand sounded a lot better um, when being sold to me than when I've played with it just how I feel. Uh, I am working on my Morphe three looks one palette video. I've got one more look to post. One more look to make and then I'll do it. But you know my Enchanted Lustre order came in so I had to play with them. <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you staying around checking out my video. I want you to know that you are very beautiful. You look very beautiful today um, even though I can't see you. And if you've enjoyed yourself here and you are new, feel free to subscribe, like, leave a comment, introduce yourself, uh, let me know what you think of any of the opinions I've shared here. I'm completely open to whatever you think. I love, you know, I'd love to hearing what your opinion is uh, rather than reading random forums and stuff like that. Yeah, so thank you so much. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.